a new life to an old bike. In this workshop in Caracas, mechanics and art combine to create bespoke machines out of factory standard models. The business is thriving. Is this a sign that Venezuela's economy is improving? Well, I think we are in, an, in a weird bubble. Uh, now there are things happening in this country that no one understands. His company is one of hundreds in the capital that are doing perhaps surprisingly well by tapping into those that have at least some dollars to spend. Venezuela informally dollarized in 2019, which has helped stabilize its economy. Manuel Valero has bought two custom bikes from this company. The main appeal for him of the machines is the opportunity to own something one-off. You won't find another bike like yours on the street, so, so you own a, a pretty much a unique bike. And, and another thing that I like pretty much is that once you get tired of your bike, uh, you can go and go ahead and change the, the gas tank, you can change the color of, of the seat. It never ends, it's like an addiction. <laughs> Confirming that, he's already commissioned a third bike. One advantage a small company like this one has operating here in Venezuela is that this is a country with no shortage of old motorbikes. Before its economic crisis, which started around eight years ago, this once rich oil-producing nation was notorious for its throwaway consumer culture. The well-off would buy the very latest model of everything and only use it until the next version came out. Yeah, those times, those, those times are gone, long gone. <laughs> so, so, so now, now we're starting to appreciate more, more, more of these things. You know, rebuilding and restoring uh, old bikes and, and, and taking the, the the most out of them. Maybe hard times have changed the culture here a little by making more understand that objects of desire don't have to be brand new. Stephen Gibbs, CGTN, Caracas.